What strategies do you recommend for any woman of any age who's still, uh, who's, who's training and trying to manage her cycle? So whether she's 18 or 38, how do you, how do you think about training around the cycle? We've done a lot of work in this space and, uh, I'll tell you this based on our data and others is, is we can train at any given time in our cycle. Uh, but what we do see is it's very clear that women uh, and girls feel worse during different phases of the cycle. And I think that's a really important point, um, particularly in the luteal phase, right before menstruation, often women feel more fatigued. Yep. They have more bloating. It can impact recovery and soreness. And, and I say that a, a woman can still compete at, and they will. Um, but often it's this uh, ability to say, like, like for me, like maybe I didn't meet my max or I, you know, my performance is not as good. Then it's a little bit of, oh, you're fine. Um, that's a physiological response. And it's always struck me as the greatest injustice that for women, for female athletes, if if their event falls at the time of the wrong time in their cycle, that that has to be impeding performance, right? I mean, I would argue, no, it is a question that I've thought about too, of like, how great would it be if we could ask uh, our Olympians whether they're on their menstrual cycle or they're not, or having their period. Yeah. Um, but what all of the data shows is that a woman is going to compete regardless. I do think it's more about the recovery. So if we take an event where they, often the Olympics is not just a single event, it's repeated. And so really bringing science in to help with recovery and inflammation and pro protein breakdown where we might do it differently in the luteal phase versus the follicular phase. So really using more tools to help with the recovery, not necessarily that peak performance, that seems to still be there. 